when I crank it like a chainsaw. Yeah, they like the way I do this. When I crank it. Hello, hello, hi, howdy. <laughs> What's up? It's me, Holly, and today we're in my kitchen, chilling. I'm gonna make some food. I'm wearing my favorite apron. You know, it's a little cupcake. <laughs> stripping because you know that's how we make our money okay um so if you hear some panting and stuff that's my dog is this straight this is not straight this is my dog he's being really needy um anyways today we're gonna be making some lazy keto burger burrito type thing and it, they're freaking delicious they're like honestly my favorite food right now i'm on keto lazily you know I try to stick to it as best as I can but you know I really like tortillas so you know we use that carb smart tortilla um but yeah so you know it's gonna be a little how to a little a little just cooking with me you know just having a good time uh yeah so you know let's get started John. Alright, ingredients, let's go. So first up, we got our carb counter tortillas. And they only have five net carbs, because if you look at that, zoom in on that right there, okay? It says 14 carbohydrates, alright? But we got nine, so it's 14 grams of total carbs, but it's nine grams of dietary fibers, and it's zero grams of sugar. So that's only five net carbs, because you take 14 minus five. Keto. All right, next up, we got some romaine lettuce because um, iceberg lettuce doesn't give you any nutrients. Facts. Okay. Then we got some shredded cheddar cheese. You know, product placement is from Food Lion. Food Lion sponsor me. Um, facts. Now we got some Heinz no sugar added uh, ketchup. So, no sugar added means that there's only one gram of sugar. I don't think that focused. But there's only one gram of sugar for whatever the serving size is. And then, you know, if we're going to make burgers, we got to add some pickles. Because if you're eating a burger without pickles, you're not eating a burger. You're just not. And the ground beef. I forgot it in the fridge. But, yeah, so that's, you know, that's, that's what we're doing. Alright, so step one, we're just going to get this beef into the pan. Now, I'm not talking about the beef I have with everybody, oh, everybody else. I'm talking about this beef, ground beef. A ground beef tube, if you will, because it's totally tubular. Um, so, yeah, you know, I just kind of take a chunk. This is not going to be enough. And then I just kind of, like, break pieces off and throw it in the pan because it's hard to break up the tubed thing with the spatula so you know we just kind of salt bay it it's kind of michael b jordan aka the dude from black panther all right so i just went ahead and did a spiralish pattern but honestly i mean you can just do whatever you want i usually just throw them in there i just wanted it to look pretty for you guys so yeah you know i just i fill up the whole pan you don't have to um, really this makes like three tacos worth, or three burritos worth, but I just save any extra meat for my eggs the next morning, so, I mean, cooking while I'm cooking, right? You know, why cook again when I just cook now, right? Never now while that is starting to cook, we're gonna cut the lettuce, cause my mom used all my pre-cut lettuce. How could she do that to me, you know? So we gotta... Got to cut more lettuce. Done. Out of the package. Got it. 
So, you know, I'm just going to take it, chop it like this in sections, you know, Gordon Ramsay style. And just store any excess in um, a Ziploc bag and use it for salad later. Have salad with this meal. I'll probably do that. Probably I'm smelling. This is gross. You don't want the butt. Don't be Nemo. Don't touch the butt. That's my public service announcement for the day. Is don't be Nemo. Ah! Huh? <laughs> they just came apart. <laughs> it was all rolled up and then it exploded. Get in. What are you? Oh my god. This is not the Titanic, people. Just get in the salad spinner. Oh my god. Now that our meat is um, popping, we can either drain out some of the fat that's in here. You know, you're feeling like a little, a little less fat, but. Since keto is really fatty, sometimes you know you just gotta judge: is this too much fat? Because you don't want it to be soupy. But is it just enough fat? And right now I'm feeling like this is probably just enough. Earlier this week it was too much, you know. But now that our meat is done cooking, we're just gonna sprinkle on some Jesus right here. Just oh, uh, I'm getting popped with grease. Getting popped. Oh my god. Like, I just want to add some cheese. Stop hurting me. Cheese is amazing, and I really like to just add it heavy-handed, okay? Because cheese is great. And then what we want to do is we just want to we just want to mix it all up to make sure that cheese is getting all nice and melted right on top of that meat, you know? I don't think I said this before, but I like the meat to be different sizes, you know, I like an assortment of sizes. That way, you know, one bite might have a huge chunk of meat, another bite might have a couple smaller bits of meat, you know, it's just, it's like a fun little surprise in every burrito. <laughs> okay, so this is looking, this is looking mighty nice. So now we gotta go work on the tortillas. So you may be asking, why didn't you add salt or pepper to that? I mean, you can. I didn't feel like I wanted to. But, you know, you can. I add salt and pepper to my eggs when I do my um, my eggs and hamburger, you know. But that's just, that's me. You know, I'm very white, so I don't add a lot of spices to anything. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to take two tortillas, lay them down on this plate, and put them in the microwave for like 15 seconds just to get them a little warm. Because it's so much better when your tortillas are warm. Trust me. And now, the construction begins. <laughs> so I always like to start by adding the meat first. Oh yes, it's cheesy. Yes, yes. Oh, it smells so good. Add it to this one. And you can add more meat, less meat, depending on what you like. You know, I'll probably add a little bit. Oh, we got a runaway piece of meat. Um, yeah, so you I mean you can add meat to your preferences. Um, then next, after the meat, I like to hit it up with our no sugar added ketchup. In a zigzag pattern, because I'm classy. Next, as always... We're going to add the lettuce that has been washed and dried in the salad spinner. And we're just gonna, you know, layer that on. Oh no, 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 no. Get back to your lifeboat. I didn't over here like the freaking Titanic. I'm gonna murder you. And yes, I'm gonna eat you, lettuce, but you just gotta live with that. I mean, you won't have to live with that for long. All right, and then 
to finalize, we go in with the delicious pickles. Pickles are one of my favorite foods, and um, I can't eat a burger without them. I mean, like, I can, it's just, it's not very good now, is it? No, it's not. I'll answer that question for you, because you're not here to answer. Look, if you aren't a fan of pickles, um, just leave my channel. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't, because, you know, I like to be inclusive, just... You should like pickles and stop being mean to pickles. <laughs> so now we're going to <laughs> roll them to be like burritos. Oh, I'm just gonna, ah, my pickle. Take the edges and then take one side. No, cooperate. Don't do that. Okay, so you're acting like this because we got a camera now? I roll you every day. I eat you every day. Don't be mean to me. So we got one. And again, take the two edges, take that side, and we're just gonna, no, cooperate, cooperate. You know, sometimes you just gotta manhandle it a little bit, even if you're a lady. And kaboom, foam-tastic. Just right, right there. So I hope you liked this video. Um, because I would love to do it again with maybe some other kind of keto food. Um, or just any food. It's got to be keto right now because that's the diet I'm on. But, you know, later in life maybe. Um, so, yeah, if you want to see something in particular, let me know. I'll see if I can make it happen. Um, and if you want to see my reaction to eating these, you know, head over to my my next video. Is either going to kind of come out the same day as this or a couple days after. And it's going to be my mukbang, so stay tuned for that if I post it later. Or go watch it now if it's already up. Um, and, yeah, I mean, I hope you have a fantastic meal. Okay, bye!